Okay, here I'm going to be assembling the uh, um, electrode, the graphene electrodes I have, into a, uh, um, a supercapacitor. I'm going to start out making uh, an all solid state polymer um, capacitor where the uh, electrolyte and the separator are basically the same thing. So, my setup here is I just got a little pan, um, I'll show you inside here. I just got like a little an old tile down there and a glass in some in some water. The water doesn't matter, it's just to heat the heat the substance I'm gonna make here. So in order to make the um polymer gelled electrolyte, um it, it requires uh approximately ninety degrees centigrade um of heating of the of the materials. So here and that's that's about one ninety four degrees Fahrenheit so I just got here so I'm about ready there um, so what it calls for is um, one gram of polyvinyl um, alcohol so I've got that here already measured out Okay, I'm gonna put that into the cup and then it calls for 10 grams of distilled water which here I have already measured out now, it just says to heat that under constantly stirring until the mixture becomes clear. So, it's a little chunky, let me show. So basically is what I'm trying to do is get rid of all the chunks and just make it as one gel mixture. Okay, now once that's done, I just have to let the mixture um, come back to room temperature, and uh, I'll check back with you then. Okay, along with uh, PVA, polyvinyl, polyvinyl alcohol, I'm also going to give a test of uh, PVA as in polyvinyl acetate, which is just uh, Elmer's glue. Um, to the Elmer's glue, I did about 5 grams of Elmer's glue here and added about 1 gram of um, phosphoric acid for the battery electrolyte. Now here I've cut two um, little pieces out for tests, about 2 centimeters by 2 centimeters. This will be the lead to which I'll paint with uh, um, the conductive paint to attach gator clips to do uh, testing. Um, so here I'm just going to apply this mixture that I made um, to these electrodes. I don't want to apply it too thick.
Okay, now I'll probably let these dry overnight. Um, well, I'll probably let them sit here for a couple of hours, just like that, so that the electrodes um, get wetted thoroughly by the electrolyte. Um, so I'll probably let them sit just like this for around a couple hours, and then after that time, I'll flip them over, sandwich them, and let them dry thoroughly overnight. And then in the morning, I'll test to see what kind of capacitances we get. And then I'll compare it to the poly polyvinyl alcohol as well. So, all right, thanks. Okay, my mixture has come to uh, room temperature about, and it is gelling up pretty well. Um, so here, in the previous, you see that I had the polyvinyl acetate one here. Um, I've got two more electrodes, which I'm going to compare the two. This is polyvinyl alcohol. Um, I'm going to add, um, so, to the mixture of um, one gram of polyvinyl alcohol and ten grams of water, I'm going to add about one gram of uh, phosphoric acid. Okay. And then I'm going to mix that thoroughly. Okay. It's still a little chunky, but it's getting better. The phosphoric acid is making it more of a gel, so that's good. Okay. Okay, now I'm going to paint these electrodes. Okay, so that's about fully covered. So same thing, I'll probably let this dry for, um, I don't know, three to five hours I'm guessing. Um, I don't even know if I need to let it dry that long, but we'll see. Um, basically it's just to make sure that the gel fully like soaks into the electrode and fully wets the um, graphene. Um, so once that d like dries for about five hours, then I'll sandwich the two and let them fully dry overnight. And in the morning, I'll give them a test. Okay, thanks.